So this is our PingPod 1000 tablet. Uh, it's a 10-inch tablet. It's got a built-in uh, touch screen. Uh, it comes with a gig of RAM, uh, 8 gigabytes onboard flash, uh, and it will boot uh, Linux from an SD card uh, or the onboard memory. Uh, it's got a full-size USB port, and it's also got a USB uh, on the go, which will convert for another USB port. Uh, it's got a built-in battery, and it can also run from a charger. Uh, it's got built-in speakers, uh, webcam, and I'll show you some things. So this is running Lenaro, and this is basically the LXDE uh, desktop. So it's a standard Linux desktop. Uh, it'll run all the apps uh, you'd expect from a desktop OS. And the Lenaro uh, repository we're using is based on uh, Ubuntu. So basically all the apps available uh, for ARM from Ubuntu mostly you can get to uh, with Lenaro. And so as you can see it's got all the apps you typically expect and all the things you're used to from Linux. So this is a demonstration of Plasma Active on the PingPod uh, 1000 tablet. And so Plasma Active is basically a little uh, graphical front end for KDE that's uh, real friendly for touch screens. And uh, it's pretty zippy, lets you jump around and work easily with a, with a finger. And so uh, it's based around widgets, and so we have these activities, and when you jump to an activity, you get all the widgets that you've had running on that particular desktop. And so it'll pop up apps, a uh, shell terminal in this case, and whatever you want to work with. And that is Plasma Active. It's very easy to install. All you have to do is go into uh, your favorite uh, you know, uh, application installation method, uh, Synaptic or AppGit, and pick Plasma Device, and it'll install. It's not standard, but it does work with the pink pods. So this is a demonstration of the PingPod 1000 uh, running XBMC and we'll go ahead and play a video on here and then we'll show a streaming video. Now this video is uh, 720 uh, high def. Uh, we do have a video coprocessor on the A10 processor and with the CDRX libraries we can play full high def uh, pretty much smooth and so uh, this has just recently been integrated into XBMC uh, to get this quality uh, streaming video with uh, XBMC and so play a clip PA TV here and this will stream in uh, 720 so we can see they can stream high def video with uh, no problems so we'll just pick the pilot and we will pick the 720 stream. And so there you go. So XBMC convention that should have existed with the all winter A10 processor running at full speed. So here we'd like to just show some of the apps available. And this is the PingPod uh, 1000. And basically didn't mention all the things that uh, you can run because this is basically standard Linux. And so if you go through uh, all the typical stuff you'd expect is there. Among it is uh, like LibreOffice runs. And so you've got a full desktop system. So you can do you know Office documents and all that uh, just like you would do, you know, on your desktop. And let's see. It's got Chromium, it's got uh, Firefox, it's got uh, basically all the standard apps pretty much available uh, through repositories, AppGit, Synaptic, uh, things you're used to to easily go get whatever you need to work. So this is our PingPod 700 tablet. It's a 7 inch tablet, so it's a little smaller, uh, more compact than the PingPod 1000. Uh, it's got uh, most of the same features, built-in camera, uh, it's got mini HDMI, it's got one USB port through the on-the-go USB, 
uh, charger port, headphones, it's got built-in speakers, and uh, G-Sensor, all like the 1000. Uh, it runs the same apps. Uh, basically, it's got the, the same system on it, except the you know, display is just a little smaller. And so, and like the other system, it runs desktop Linux, and so you've got access to all the typical Linux apps. And so, that's the 7000. All right, this is our Ping Stick uh, Mini PC. You see it's very small, it's only about three and a half inches, so it's very portable. It's got an HDMI plug, uh, that's a mini HDMI, it comes with a cable for full HDMI. Uh, USB on the go with an adapter for full size USB. Uh, another full size USB, uh, charger, or power in this case, and a SD card slot. So it's a very small device, but it's got the same A10 processor and all that same power. And so, you can see we got the full desktop up here. Uh, running in uh, 720, it'll run 1080 as well, and but like all of ours, it runs the same uh, Lenaro-based uh, Linux distribution. So you've got access to all the standard you know, Ubuntu-built apps that you'd expect coming out of Lenaro. So this is a great little TV box when you combine it with our XBMC app running on the A10 with uh, full video coprocessing. If you want to find out more about the PingPod tablets. You can visit us at pingpod.com, and if you'd like to pre-order uh, one of these tablets, we do have a crowdfunder going on at indiegogo.com, and so we hope you'll take a look.